Hey everyone, welcome to Alta Keys. I am Pankaj Rai and in this video I am going to talk about live data, mutable live data and mediated live data. The concept of live data is really important because if you are using a VVM architecture then live data is a crucial part of it. Live data is an observable component which understands for the life cycle of an activity or fragment. Then based on that it emits the data. This is also one of the tools through which you pass the content from repository to view model, view model to either activity or fragment. Now let's see how do we can use it and what's the difference between all three of them. So let me start with live data first. Say that you have any object, say private well um, counter live data. And then it asks you for the type of live data and here you specify what's the type for this either this could be like integer a string or any data model also like you could create your own class and give the class name here but when to use this so one thing is that live data doesn't provide this capability where you could initialize this and then try to use it Live data is a component which can only be observed, but you cannot set the value. So that's why this is not permitted. So how can we use live data? For that, we are dependent on mutable live data. Say I have again private well m counter mutable live data. This is of type mutable live data of integer. And now we can initialize this, initialize this with mutable live data, and internally it doesn't have any information right now. Based on this, now what we could do is like we could create a function, say private fun get counter live data, which returns live data of integer and eventually we could return this mutable live data so by this way now this function is returning live data which means that the value can only be observed but cannot be set but for this m counter mutable live data we could set the value but why do it is allowing me because altogether this is mutable live data and I'm seeing the return type as live data still it is not giving any error to me and the reason is that if you see the implementation for both of them this extends live data and live data is the abstract class and that's the reason that when I try to assign mutable live data to live data it doesn't throw any error so how do we can observe this we could say something like get counter live data dot observe lifecycle owner and here is the observer now we could give a value or say i can print on toast for now the value is it toast dot length shot dot show so that's it so now when i change the value for mutable live data this will automatically get triggered let me show you this on first button click let me set the value as m first counter and that's it so as i'm changing the value for this as it's getting observed so this will show a toast to us so that's the major difference between live data and mutable live data live data can only give the value you cannot set the value and mutable live data that's the place where you can either set the value or read the values like this as i'm changing so it's showing a toast now let's talk about the mediator live data so there could be multiple instances where you may 
have multiple live data and you want to combine all of them together merge all of them together to a single live data and based on any of the value changes for this mutable live data or the live data you want to show the values on the screen so how can this be done say i have two buttons here and on click of both the buttons i want the values to get updated on the screen one approach is manually creating this live data and then showing the values on screen but how about if you could combine if you could have a mediator live data which can observe for the multiple live data and mediator live data does the exact same thing so let me do one thing let me create two mutable live data this is like for the first counter let me also add this for the second counter and the mediator live data I want this to be a mediator live data of type int. Let's initialize this value. The one thing which is very important is like the data type. So whatever live data which it's going to have, that should have the same data type as what you have defined for the mediator live data. Now let me do one thing. On a button click, let me assign the values. So m first m second mutable editor dot value is equals to m second counter. Now let's see how we can use mediator live data. So let me add mediator live data dot add source, which requires us to pass the live data. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to pass the first counter mutable live data and setting the observer. This is the place where, as soon as a value for this is getting changed, this part will get triggered automatically. And it also gives us the value, whatever is been assigned to this. So let me set this value back to the mediator live data. It. So by this way, what I did is like I have a mediator live data which is observing for this mutable live data, and as soon as the value for this is getting changed, we are setting this same value to this mediator live data. So now, if we have an observer which is set on this mediator live data, value for this as soon as it changes, the value for this is also getting changed because of this. So we are going to see the result on the screen. But not just this, because the overall objective of mediator live data is when you have multiple live data and you want to have a single common live data on which you want to set the observer. So let me add another live data. And this time, let me see this as value equals to it. So now, what happens here is like, if any of this value changes, either for the first one or the second one, I'll get the observer. So for that, let me set an observer. Observe and now let's print the value so value is it's going to print it then close dot length short dot show so that's it now let me run this so whenever i'm clicking on a button first or second now you'll see the toast on the screen because we have set a mediator live data which is observing both of this mutable live data. Okay, now let me click on the first and you can see the value is one, two, then three. Now if I click second, it should give me the value one and here it is. Now when to use this? So this is really helpful if you are doing a network call or any such places where you have the same instance of an object data type like either this for the integer or your the model class which you are giving and you want to observe for all of them. So rather than manually creating those many mutable live data and the live data and then setting an observer, the best is to have a mediator live data where you can set all of them to a single mediator live data and if the value for any of them is changing, then you get the update right in your activity or the fragment. 
So that's it in this video. I hope this might be helpful for you to understand about what is live data, what is mutable live data, and mediated live data. If you have liked this video, then hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe this channel so that you will not miss notification for the upcoming tutorial videos. Thank you and stay tuned.